In all transparency, I have a love-hate relationship with mission statements. Most businesses that have one make them so stuffy and full of what I call business ease that they make your eyes feel like they have sand in them when you read it and saying it out loud makes your tongue twist. In other words, their mission statement is completely worthless. A mission statement will help you, your team or employees, and most importantly, your customers to understand what your business is all about and why it matters to them. So what is a mission statement? A mission statement is a brief statement about who the company is and what it stands for. Some companies use the mission statement as a marketing slogan. However, the true intent of a mission statement should be to describe the purpose of the business, a futuristic expression of hope or inspiration. For example, Google's mission statement is organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Michael and Jennifer, who have a pet business, their mission statement might be to provide the best service for your pet at an affordable price to foster the collective care and love of our furry friends. Don't just write down a mission statement. Think about it. Get input from others and carefully develop a statement that is an expression of your business. Most mission statements are between one and three sentences and should never exceed a hundred words. So you don't have to write a book, but you do have to be succinct. The key to a great mission statement is to make your buyer feel like they are part of the journey. As I mentioned before, this is Google's a mission statement. Organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. This is what I call a big statement, but it also makes their end user feel like they are there for them, that they're offering up the world's knowledge to each and every one of us. Here's another example. To provide the best pet products at the most affordable price to foster the collective love of our furry friends. And the part that really is going to resonate with their customer base is the, the feeling that they have for their pet. You know, if you own a pet, you have love for those pets and it's a deep and abiding love. So because they've tapped into that emotion in their mission statement, that is going to be a win for their business. I love digital marketers mission statement, uh, which is to double the size of 10,000 businesses in the next five years. Why? We do it because we believe that small businesses just like yours can change the world. So they're bringing up us into that equation. Like, you know, businesses just like yours, we are here to help. I have a very simple process that I teach for developing a great mission statement, and it breaks down into three simple steps. So let's start with the first one. What do you do for your customer? Your business exists to solve a problem for your customers. Don't undervalue your business. You don't have to have a massive solution like curing cancer uh, to be doing good stuff. What is it that you want to offer to your customer? You do need to be clear on that. Why do you do what you do? I love this quote by Simon Sinek. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. This is such a powerful message in this context because, again, people don't buy what you do. They buy why. Why is it that you exist and how are you going to serve that person? Um, we talked about the how, but now you're at the why. If your prospective customer believes in your why the way you believe in your why, they're going to be way more likely to convert from a prospect into a customer. Once you've articulated your what and your why, spend some time examining your process. How do you do what you do differently from others? You want to pinpoint the areas that set you apart from your competition. For example, you might be in the business of customer service. You might offer 24-7 live chat for customer convenience. You might assign a dedicated representative to top customers for a VIP experience. You might offer direct email communication so that your customers can troubleshoot any issues they have. Have. Um, you might have an outreach plan to ensure that your customers are taken care of, that you over deliver. Whatever it is that makes you stand out and uh, apart from everyone else, that's what you want to focus in on. I'll see you in the next video.